Before the ultimate showdown between Cloud and Sephiroth. Before the fall of Aerith. Before that weird cat thing joined your party. There was Zack. Zack Fair, Soldier First Class. This is his story. My beautiful nerds and welcome to Missledyne Online and our first playthrough of Final Fantasy 7 Crisis Core Reunion. This, my friends, is a remake of the PSP classic Crisis Core, a game that I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in, uh, and I am so glad that I get to play this game and make it for you right here on on uh, this YouTube channel. I'm so excited. I love this game. Uh, it is a journey. It is an emotional journey. And I can't wait to go along on it with you. If you uh, end up liking this video, please, my friends, please throw it a thumbs up. Comments, any of that stuff helps. Share it with friends. Uh, let's see if we can get this, this series to be one of my most popular ever. Let's see what we can do. Anyways, the first thing that I would recommend when booting up this game is to actually go to your button settings. And I would actually change a couple of things. If you're anything like me and you play a lot of PlayStation games, uh, I am playing on the PlayStation 5. I have changed the attack button to X instead of square. And I've changed dodge from... Uh, what I believe was X to circle just because that's what I'm used to I've spent so many times playing Kingdom Hearts or God of War or any of these games that actually requires dodge to be on circle so I've changed those and I've put uh, use item on square instead so um, that's kind of where I'm at and I recommend it if you're on if you're playing on PlayStation it's just gonna feel a little a little simpler as we get into it my friends it's time to start Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. You know, before we begin, let me know in the comments below, have y'all ever played the PSP original version of this game? I feel like I've talked about it a lot on stream, and I'm kind of surprised at the amount of people that have never played Crisis Core. Anyways, without further ado, new game. Uh, we're gonna go with English. And, <laughs> of course we're gonna go with hard. You know me. All right, let's do it, baby. Fuck, I'm excited. Chills everywhere. Oh yeah. 
get serious. Zack, focus. There are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood? Hello to you, too. Let's go! Holy smokes, man. Zach speaking. Making progress, Zach. Angeal, what's going on? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wu Tai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. You mean towards Sector 8? Yes. But first. You're gonna have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Within reason. It's showtime. Oh, let's go. Oh my god, I missed that. I missed it so much. Uh, it's just gonna give us a little bit of a tor tutorial, but don't worry, you don't need it. So this is what I mean. This is why X feels so good, because you can... You see what I mean? Like, oh, oh, let me just dodge it, dodge it. Oh, oh, let's go. You know, you see what I mean? Anyways, it'll give us a little thing about, uh, Materia, which we can do whatever we want there. Woo, let's go. We were able to cast a Fyraga there. Look at how many soldiers there are. Get out of here. You ain't got nothing on me, soldier first class. And then we can go ahead and cast a Thundergut. Woo, look at that. Come and get it, trophy already earns. It's flashy. It feels good. Not too bad. Piece of cake. I'll make first in no time. Go up the stairs at the end of the platform. You got it. <laughs> I can't get over how, how how good it looks and how much it also feels like the PSP version in a good way. Now, listen, dear viewer, you may be wondering a couple of questions. What Final Fantasy game starts with 
you fighting a behemoth right away. I thought it's like usually you fight rats and stuff and then you end with fighting behemoths. No, no, no. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, you're just thrust into that. And also, you might be wondering, where's the Buster Sword? And Geo has it. All right, here we go. And this is an introduction to uh, a sort of a brand new thing in this game, only exclusively in this game, and that is the DMW, the Digital Mind Wave, which is this slot machine that you see in the top left corner of the screen. When certain images or numbers match, it provides a variety of all of these different effects that can happen. So the reels expend SP to automatically spin and stop. When the images match, a limit break is entered and a limit break move is added to your stock. When numbers match, some enhancements happen. So we'll get into that a little bit more as we continue our playthrough. For this one though, we have matched Angeal. One, one, one. So we're gonna we're gonna worry about that. Also, we have a guard as well. Now you take damage whenever you guard. So I wouldn't really I wouldn't really recommend guarding if you can dodge out of it. Some things you can't, so we'll see what happens. So right there, we got a 147, so nothing really happens. Um, and it kind of shows you all of the different things that can happen there, with Invincible being probably one of the coolest ones. You can also see the effects of numbers. When the image reels are in a limit verge state and numbers between 1 and 6 match, the materia set in the corresponding slot will level up. We don't have anything like that in our current set, but we can see a Sephiroth in our wheel. Also, you do double damage with crits from behind, so we want to watch out for that tail a little bit, but also, we just do so much damage if we can attack from behind. So right there, null physical is activated, so that means we are not going to take any physical damage whatsoever. So we want to just see if we can stay behind, and just like that, you're able to see that the tail is not able to do any damage to us whatsoever. Yet again, we got another full. We're going to go ahead and see if we can cast a Lazaga here. We also have an Assault Twister that we can do. And no MP cost, so we could just we could just we could just do what we want. See how much Fibergo does against him? Nothing. Don't recommend it. And we get Octo Slash here. Finally, we get a limit break because we got three Sephiroths combined. When all the image reels match, a limit break state is entered and a corresponding limit break move is added to your stock. Stocked limit break moves can be unleashed at a time of your choosing, but they will all vanish at the end of the battle. So you want to use them during the battle, whenever it feels most appropriate. Usually when you have broken the enemy. During limit breaks, you may also acquire HP, MP, AP, or SP. So, we're gonna go ahead and use limit break and get the trophy, prove your honor to me. Oh yeah, now could we have saved? Hey, I can't hit your butt if you're behind me like that. So we'll go ahead and dodge. Now, dodging also does give you invincibility frames. So you wanna make sure that you're kinda using those whenever you can. So we're gonna watch out for its tail because it's going to hit us, but that's all right. Like I said, we wanna be on the attack here. It's an easy enough fight where we don't really need to worry about too much. And the behemoth should go down in one more swing with 16 SP. <laughs> Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. <sighs> what, what is this? <laughs> Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. <sighs> Impossible. Thanks, Angeal.
thing's over. Why? You serious? I was just getting warmed up. Zack. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Y'all, have I mentioned that this game is just one of the best? It's so good. Ah, oh, I'm so glad we have this remaster. Thank you so much to uh, to Square for making this damn game, let me tell you. So we cleared the prologue, we get the Embrace Your Dreams trophy. Keep that in mind, that Embrace Your Dreams. Also, can we just talk about the fact that Zack is such a himbo? Love it. All right, so let's go ahead and make our first save, baby. We are on hard mode, right? Because I, I just, okay, I'm just, I was just checking, because the behemoth fight seemed a little easy, and I just, you know, I was a little concerned. Hey, Zach, you seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this training and no assignments, like they're... Hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy with everyone off base. Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? One of the firsts has deserted. Took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him. All from Wutai. Motive, goal, all a mystery right now. This mass soldier desertion is why your training's on hold. Whoa, a first. Zack, you're up. Yeah, finally. Time for some real action. Yes, it'll be your show. Yes! Report to Director Lazard. There'll be a briefing. Zack, it's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, Director of Soldier. Hey, uh. <laughs> On to business. Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended huh? you for first. <laughs> oh, and deal! I love you, man! <laughs> and deal! Uh. Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir. Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. After entering Wutai, we go straight to work. So if you've played the original Final Fantasy VII, you probably know that a director Lazard is not really mentioned, which is interesting. But anyways. If you have any questions about missions and combat, he can help you. Hey, Zach. Anything you want to know? Just ask. First, we should really go over combat. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining the basics. Take a look, okay? 
And that's going to introduce us to our mail system. As the story progresses, we will receive mail from various people. A lot of the, I wouldn't say the story, but a lot of like some background stuff will be revealed in these mails. So I do recommend checking it pretty much whenever you see it up there. You can view your mail by going to mail from the main menu. When you have on read mail, you can select R1 from the field menu to open it directly and check your mail regularly. It's going to have tutorials, tips, but also uh, things from people that you meet throughout the game. And, you know, if you're anything like me, you want to hear from everybody because, uh, you know. Uh, so we have the mail tutorial that we just had, restoring HP that can be restored through items and magic. At save points, everything is fully restored. We have different statuses here that we can do. SP is soldier points. Soldier points are what make the DMW, the digital mind wheel, spin. When SP reaches zero, the D, uh, DMW stops spinning, therefore halting Zach's growth as well. That's not good because that is uh, pretty much how you level up and everything else. As you progress through the game, there will be more uses for SP besides spinning the DMW. It can be gained through DMW results and by defeating monsters. So those are the most important things that we have there. Uh, also, we have a luck stat, a spirit stack. Uh, I guess that's spirit. The higher this value, the less magic damage you will suffer. And uh, luck, the higher this value, the more likely critical hits and item drops become, which I would recommend uh, for as long as you can have that stat. We have the talk and examine thing, not a huge deal. And controls, which we pretty much already know. Again, I changed my battle controls just to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more what I understand. So we have multiple choices too for activating our limit break. So keep that in mind. If you want to take it off of triangle because you keep accidentally using it when you don't mean to, that's not a horrible idea. Pressing down on L3 and R3 on the PlayStation will also activate your limit breaks. Again, there are opportune times to be able to do those. So we have the ones that we got earlier. Then we have tutorials for all of our buffs, which you can kind of see the uh, the notification there and what that means. So endure means we prevent falling from damage received. Um, barrier halves damage from physical attacks. Magic barrier halves damage from attack spells. Uh, so fire, we got thunder, all that jazz. Regen gradually recovers our HP. Raise we recover from incap incap incapacitated. Uh, critical, all attacks become critical hits, which is great because then we don't have to worry about getting behind our enemies anymore. Null physical, null magic, and invincible. Now, you saw null physical a ton when we were fighting the behemoth, which was which was really nice. MP cost zero and AP cost zero obviously uh, means that you don't spend any of your, your resources there, which is really nice. These are debuffs that will be on us, including stop, stun, curse, silence, and poison. If you've played any Final Fantasy games, uh, you know about those. Then we have some magic here. Now, here's something that I want to point out. So recovery spells such as Cure and Asuna are useful for restoring HP and curing status ailments. However, there is one caveat I will say in this game. Cure is useless. Potions are going to be way better. They're cheap and they restore about 33% of your health no matter what, which actually frees up a materia slot for you. And you can use potions at any time without needing to go into... It's just honestly better to use potions in this game than it is to use any cure spells. So keep that in mind as you go. It's kind of weird that that's how it works, but that is how it works. Certain magic spells and abilities are assigned with an element. This is going to be useful not just for Viraga and, and Blizzaga and Thundaga and all that, but also some of our normal attacks that we'll get will have elements on them. We do more damage to an enemy by using elements that they are weak against. When you're up against tough opponents, try to use elemental attacks that they are effective against. Certain enemies can have elemental damage or even null or absorb the damage. So keep that in mind as we proceed. And I believe that's all of the tutorials we can get right now, which means that our mailbox is empty. But look at that, my friends, our menu. Look at how, isn't Zach, you know, he's such a himbo. I love him. Uh, so you can see our beginning stats there. Not a huge deal. We have our equipment stuff. Uh, which I believe if you pre-ordered the game, you also would have received some other things that you can equip. But as you're noticing, there's actually a cure materia there that I don't really need. But since we don't really have any materia right now, I'll keep using it. You'll also notice that the materia that we were using in the previous little training mission that we just did, the prologue, those are gone. That's just because we were training and it was a virtual reality. Materia is the way that this game works. Everything about it is pretty much Materia, my friends. It is your stats. It is the moves that you can use. It is everything. Trust me, 
we will be spending a lot of time on the materia system in this playthrough fusing defusing all of these different stuff to make sure that we get the most stats out of our materia and it can get wildly complicated so bear with me as we get through that uh, throughout this series equipping materia allows you to use various magic and abilities we already know that or gain beneficial effects such as increased hp if you have an hp up some materia have a parameter value such as magic plus three you'll actually see that our cure there has a spirit plus one meaning that it increases our defense against magic damage which is pretty nice some materia becomes more effective or raises certain status parameters when they level up the level is indicated by the star underneath you'll see fire has a star blizzard they have one star you pretty much want to master those just like in the original final fantasy 7 game and in the remake if you feel an enemy is too strong try reviewing your equipped materia and see if there's any way you can gain more advantage a materia's power can be judged by values such as that uh seen at the bottom of the icon the sword with the number there so right now our blizzard is the strongest one that we have just based on that so a lot of this is uh pretty self-explanatory so we're going to be using assault twister that's the only one that we have that is a uh, enables spinning physical attacks and we don't really have any other materia right now like i said if you did pre-order the game which i did but it's not going to be listen uh <laughs> you'll be able to equip those also uh accessories go here as well accessories can also be a game changer um, and there are certain builds here that I will show you that are going to blow your mind, my friends. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's going to be great. So we have Soma, Ether, and potions available to us at the moment. And we also have shops that we can actually activate right in our menu. So you don't have to go and talk to somebody to do this. You just need to go and grab them. So potions are only 50 gil, which is why I recommend just, just grabbing some potions, y'all. I just see no reason not to have those. If you want to sell anything, you just hit triangle and then you can go ahead and sell. Also, once you have chosen normal or hard, if you are finding hard to be too hard, you can actually change it right here in the settings. So keep that in mind if if you get to that point where you're like, wow, this is just way harder than I thought it was going to be. So we can go ahead and you talk to some people. You take over the assignment as Genesis's replacement. Genesis, by the way. As soon as you're ready. Proceed to Wu Tai. My favorite character in probably all of Final Fantasy. After entering favorite Wu -tai, villain, we go straight to work. If you have any questions about missions and combat, he can help you. Gosh, what a beautiful game! Oh, so glad we get to play this. Look at the ah. Oh. So, did you read it? Oh yeah, read it all. Thoughts? I mean, I doubt you'd get it all in one read. See, even they know he's a himbo. That is so not true. Well, it's there if you want to review. Oh, the materia you were using during training has been taken back. Powerful materia have to be earned. Those are the soldier rules. Now, let's talk about missions. The various services Shinra provides for civilians, those are what we call missions. To take on missions, you first have to register your information on the mission board. Pressing X in front of the mission will allow us to accept missions. Missions are the bulk of the game. So, if you are curious, to do the story of this game would probably take about 18 to 19 hours if you were to just play through. If you were to do everything and do all of the missions, this game is going to take you well over 75 hours. So, keep that in mind. Once registered, you can look up mission information on your handset. I'll show you how to register on the board. Come on. There's also a really cool challenge that you can take while playing Crisis Core, and I'm assuming that that challenge is still going to be live for this game, uh, called the ASAP Challenge, where you do everything as soon as it unlocks. As soon as it is possible to do things, you do them. Some of these missions are absurdly hard, but give amazing equipment and are available very early on in the game. And if you are able to do that, you actually can submit your save file to be uh, featured in a Hall of Fame. So if you're interested in the ASAP challenge, let me know. There's a compass at the top of the field screen, points us towards our objective. We have the the blue exclamation point is the main event and the the yellow gold ones are sub events. Obviously, you know me, 100% completion, baby, platinum trophy. I'm gonna be doing those sub events. Hello, so what are you There's have to say? There's little time. Please get ready to go at once. 
<laughs> love that guy. I love him. Console, do you say Here. anything else? This is where you register your information. All right. So let's go ahead and use the mission board. Now that you're officially registered, you should try a mission. Oh, yeah. Good idea. The save points that way. If you're not completely sure about something, read the tutorial mail that I sent you. I love the I love the tutorial mail. Anyways, we can also save. There is auto saving as well, so don't be too too stressed about it. But also, you want to use these because they completely heal you. You can register to go on missions by going to a save point and selecting missions from the main menu. You don't actually do it at that computer, although I think you can as well. When you clear a mission, you will receive rewards, such as special materia and accessories, and new missions may become available. You can take on available missions at any time, so you should take them on when you feel you are underleveled or wish to improve your battle skills. Select triangle at a save point to register directly. So, we can go ahead and save before we're doing the mission. And then triangle to actually go ahead and undertake our first mission here, which looks like completion boat. Well, let's see what we could do here, my friends. The Shinra Electric Power Company training mission. This is a simulated battle against infantrymen. The difficulty level is set low, so it should pose no problem for a soldier operative. Now that we've just been promoted to soldier first class. And we'll see the reward there is an elixir. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Ah, the activating combat mode, it just, like, hearing it again, man, y'all, y'all, ah, oh, it just brings me back. The limit gauge has five stages, and the higher the stage, the higher the probability for a limit verge to occur. The gauge status changes according to various factors, such as entering limit break or receiving certain attacks. So, we'll see that we have heavenly, sky high, high, normal, and low. We're currently at normal. Abilities such as Assault Twister become more effective if they are used after attack. The more successful uh, successive attacks come before it, the stronger it becomes. So you don't want to use your Assault Twister as the beginning of a combo. You want to use it towards the end of your combo. Like that, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You see? You see what I mean? The combat, it just feels great. And then you can dodge and you can... Whoa, don't think so, bud. And yeah, they're shooting at us, but like, who cares? And then we can go ahead and hit him with a fire. These guys are, of course, weak to fire, as most humans are. Oh, yeah. And can we talk about the music in this game? Because it is probably, I think, one of the strongest soundtracks in all of gaming. It's so good. Nice work. You cleared the mission. I could have done it blindfolded. <laughs> You're the man. I can't wait to see how you do in Wu Tai. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Let me explain about these supply pods. In these pods, you'll find items that you can use in battle. Compliments of the company. So they're provisions for soldier members. Make sure they don't go to waste. Check the pods before every mission. Ah, I wonder what's in there today. And I'm pretty sure by every mission, they actually mean every story mission, pods, not the missions that you items undertake. That you make sure ah. So we can go ahead and use this. And we got a bronze bangle, our first accessory actually. All right, looks like you're all ready to head out. Lastly, let me tell you about mail. Just now, I sent mail to your handset. You can also get messages from Director Lazard and news about the company via mail. You should check it regularly. Who knows? Maybe you'll even get mail from new friends you make. We will. Yes! But don't just read mail that you get from girls, okay? Yeah, no promises. <laughs> We're a himbo. Well, I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. You're with Angeo, right? Good luck. Yeah, thanks for all the help. All right, and there you go. Can equip up to six materia for accessories. The number will gradually increase toward the limit as you advance the story or clear missions. 
You can set or change equipment by going to equipment from the main menu. Battle commands will be set according to where you equip your materia, so think carefully about what would be most intuitive for you. That's actually a pretty important point. And we have the shops, which I've already showed. And shops will also increase what they sell based on the missions and stuff that you do. So we have new mail, which we can go ahead and look at here. Our inbox, the Midgar Construction Project. Midgar is a city floating 300 meters in the air, linked to the ground by train and highway transit. We utilize a total of eight Mako reactors, sequentially numbered, starting with the Northern Reactor, to supply electricity to the city. Construction continues smoothly. Shenra Company headquarters in Sector 4 are the last on the schedule to be completed. Huh, not even done yet. The headquarters interior in Sector 0 is complete and already in operation. The exterior is slated for completion in two years, while the surrounding city will be finished in seven years. Reeve Tutusti. Oh, we know a Reeve if you've played the original game. Gunsel here, now that you got your first mail account ready, allow me, your loyal and well-connected pal, to give you lots of insider info. Why? Because I'm such a nice guy, and I know you and your one-track mind don't know what I know. Thanks, bud. So, they will also just put those into new categories for us. So, we will, anything that's new will go into inbox. We will have anything related to soldier, and anything related to, like, general Midgar Shinra stuff will also be going on there. So let's go ahead and equip our new accessory, the bronze bangle. Looks like that pretty much only increased our health by 10%. Not, you know, I ain't mad about it. I'm not mad. But don't hey, worry, there's, there's a, a super secret item that we can actually fine, get from these fine. storage lockers if right here. More, if we I'll interact with I this 20 today. times, eventually our little friend here, our soldier, soldier friend, is going to get annoyed by us, and he's just going to give deal, us what right? he received, which is a Cursed Ring. The way Cursed Ring works is it won't spin the wheel anymore, which is actually really cool because that means you can't level. This has some strategies that we're going to do because if you know me, you know that we will absolutely break this game during our playthrough. I'm going to show you how to absolutely destroy this thing. I hope you're ready for it. Anyways, I wanted to show that item. Let's move on. And you'll notice a couple of different things here when we actually look at the mission that I want to I want to mention. The, I want to mention the, the mission. So you'll see completion progress. Next bonus is at 5%. We get Thunderblade. So we actually get rewards based on the uh, amount of the percentage of missions that we do. And we can actually see exactly what we're going to get right here. So when we do 5% of the total amount of missions in the game, we'll get the Thunderblade materia which raises our magic one, gives us a thunder elemental attack on our attack. Then at 10%, a titanium bangle. At 15%, we'll get attack ma mako, mako stones uh, times 30. And at 20%, we'll get a dark blizzara and so on and so forth. There are a few of these that are incredibly, incredibly powerful. That goblin punch, for instance, at 55%, is going to be useful for something in particular. So... It is worth doing, especially for all of these different uh, things that you can get. You'll see that full cure there, HP plus 200%. Like, things like this are very, very useful. So keep in mind as we go through uh, this completion bonus, and don't neglect these missions. That is the biggest part of this game. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We'll do it. You'll also notice something that I wanted to point out in the menu there is Materia Fusion. Like I said, Materia plays the largest part in powering up Zack. And we will be... The Materia fusion system is a little complicated. It's a little confusing. Uh, but that's why that's why we're going to cover it here in this platinum complete 100% playthrough right here on Mistledyne Online. So let's go ahead and see if anybody says anything. It looks like Angeal wants to talk to us. Does Lazard say anything? He sure doesn't. Not anything new. And we can't go this way. We don't have any There's new missions. It's a little, you know, I wish we had a little, a couple more missions right now. There is something that is worth mentioning, and that is you can actually replay these missions at any point. So if you feel like you want to do it again, feel free. Activating combat mode. And if you do do this, you still get rewards. You get SP. You get kill. And it's pretty easy peasy, my friends. It's pretty easy peasy. 
literally you can just sit there and spam fire and get SP and gil and all of that before you ever even go on your first mission. The reward that you get for it though, that elixir, that is a one-time thing. You can only get rewards from it once. Also, if we hit square, we can see the whole map. So I do recommend doing a few of these missions, uh, this mission, just a couple of times if you just want to upgrade a little bit of your stuff. Uh, like I said, cure doesn't really matter, but having having level two of a lot of these things before you even go into your first mission is, is not going to hurt you. That is for dang sure. So, and also it's just nice to, if, especially if you're new to this game, get a handle on the combat before going in and, and maybe doing a little bit of the harder stuff, especially, again, if you're playing on that hard difficulty. And I think, my friends, before we go and talk to Angeal, I think this is a wonderful time to actually end our first, our first episode of Crisis Core. I, uh, listen, y'all, I, I just, I love this game so much. I need your help, okay? Let's make this, together, my most viewed, my most liked, my most commented on video series I've ever done. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the first episode. It's a lot of tutorial stuff right now. It's a lot of, listen, the game is deep. It's meaningful. It's got a badass story and an even better combat system. And I can't wait to show you all of that to you. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta leave likes and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Never give up, never surrender. And y'all, I will see you on the next episode of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion. Never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.